This is, whoops, can't show my address. This is an online arbitrage order, eBay to Amazon. And this, if I can show you, is uh, $10 of PC games that I picked up at a garage sale yesterday, well, two days ago, I guess. Saturday, it was like four or 5 p.m. One of my neighbors, I didn't do the early garage sales. I know that's the best time to get them, to get the good deals, but I was doing other stuff. So I, I drove by the end, found the remainders, and they had all these PC games. And I don't know if you know this, but some PC games are worth pretty decent money. So I said, hey, what do you got there? They go, oh, we got some old computer games. We want a dollar a piece. I say, okay, you take, take 10 bucks for it. And he goes, yeah, okay, sure, fine, 10 bucks for it. So 10 bucks for all those, they wanted them gone. I didn't scan them, I don't really like doing that. I know, I know, it's a personal thing. I just don't like being on someone's property and like being weird and kind of introverted. It just seems like antisocial and not what I would want on my land if I didn't know what was going on. I mean, I, I, I do know, but I'm just saying, you get what I'm saying, it just looks kind of weird. So we have these, we're gonna sell these. Um, we're gonna sell them mostly on eBay, a few on Amazon, because some of these are worth money. Uh, we're gonna put them in the media shipment from uh, the DVDs we got at a Salvation Army earlier in that day, actually, on Saturday. But first, I'm gonna go to a Salvation Army um, in Ann Arbor, which is just like 10 minutes away, and see if I can find some more media. I'm not gonna buy clothes, I'm not gonna buy electronics, I'm not gonna buy any art. This is really cool, I might then. But I'm just gonna be buying things I can add to a current FBA shipment. Uh, and the things that I can FBA out of that buy, will um, they'll just go eBay. And now that I have an eBay inventory system, listing like $5 profit or $2 profit um, video games, or, or computer games in this case, it's not as scary or overwhelming. Why, why is that? Well, because all I do is take a picture and put it in a box. Whereas before I had to like remember where it was. So we're growing, we're growing. What we're also growing on is yesterday, Sunday, I posted a super cut of my last four vlogs. And you guys watched them. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. And a common comment I got was um, kind of boring. I've already seen this. I'll watch it, but kind of boring. So thank you. And what I think I'll do next week, next Sunday, is do the same thing, super cut this week's vlogs, but I'll do a voiceover in the important parts where I can talk about the things I've learned and like how my mentality or ideas have changed since I made the video and saw your reception and thought about it. And I think that's gonna be like a holistic process that like is a little cherry on top for this, what I'm calling business vlog series. Here's what I have so far. Most of it's media, as you can see. This is a babble at tennis, Hold three rackets in there. Um, and then this is kind of cool too. So this is, I would guess, 10 pounds of watches maybe for 50 bucks. And I've already seen at least five that should go for at least 15 bucks. So I think that's gonna be interesting to see what we can do with that. Back at the warehouse, these are all the FBA stuff that I got from yesterday, I mean Saturday and today. Well, I'll show you where we're at. Um, the number is right there, 601.67. So that's actually, if you include the media I bought today, not the games that I got at the garage sale, but all the media from yesterday, that's, it's more than I thought I was gonna make, because so that's pretty cool. Uh, I've also got to ship out three eBay orders and I'm gonna hope I can just find them because none of them are inventoried, which is uh, my problem. One of them's a calculator, not this calculator, but uh, a TI-84. Maybe that one actually is in a box, but I know for a fact that um, these, these shorts over here are not. So I sold these shorts right here. They're like Umbro vintage shorts. See them? Kinda hard to show them. Uh, for 50 bucks. Pretty cool, right? I picked them up about a week ago for three or four dollars, I think. Uh, I also sold a Timex, like bedside radio that I, it's like a T435B. I know how it looks. It was one that I sold on Amazon and the listing got taken down. It's this right here. Sold that for about $27, including the cost of shipping. And then there's a, it's somewhere around here. A TI-84 Plus, 
with a bruised screen that I sold for um, 40 bucks free shipping. I did free shipping on the calculator because those are really competitive, those calculators are. So I'm like looking for as I walk around. I think I'm probably gonna have to find it after I film this because, I mean, that just shows the difference between having an inventory system and not. I don't know where the heck it is. But if it was like, you remember when I did the last video, how easy it was to show you where my other things were? They're all in box 20. Oh, here it is. Just kidding, found it. So right here. And I, uh, you can kind of tell a little damage to the screen there and some scratching on there. So we'll, you know, I think they go for like 50 or 60 bucks normally. So the guy kind of got a deal. This is all of the stuff I have to list on eBay, not including the games I picked up. So I bought these all either yesterday or on Saturday or today. Um, and this is not included, obviously, in that $600 amount mark. We also have this uh, $50 bag of watches I bought. I haven't even opened it up yet. There's a Casio right there. What does that say? Can't even read that. But I saw a few Casios that I've sold before. Let's actually weigh it. This is my 300 pound scale I use for bigger boxes. Let's see how much it weighs. Usually I pay about like eight bucks a pound for watches. So let's let's see if, um, if this weighs more than 10 pounds. I'd say it's a good deal. Where did we go? Yeah. Just south of 10 pounds. Uh, so I paid about 550, less than that, you know, five and change per pound per watch. Um, I'm gonna open these up and show you the highlights. I've got the watches all sorted out into watches I'm gonna try and sell myself here. Uh, and the watches I'm gonna sell in bulk. A few interesting things. There were some sterling silver earrings, Primrose brand. I'm not sure where those sell at. These are probably worth 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Uh, some just costume jewelry that's not really worth anything at all. That watch I bought somewhere else. Um, these are all the bulk watches. They're either the, I don't know what they are. Um, they're brands I don't recognize or they're broken, or they're just like, I've seen sales history, but the sales history is below $10. So maybe like if somebody sells at a flea market for a buck a piece, they'll pay 15 bucks for this and, and make some money. These are the ones I wanna sell. The They're mostly Timex. There's some fossil watches in here, some uh, other brands I'm not really familiar with, but look kind of nice. That's a, I think that's like probably McDonald's or like a Burger King <laughs> Simpsons watch. Uh, the one, the two that I thought should be shown, this, Gucci, is that real? I don't know. Probably not. My, my gut tells me it's probably not real. Um, I'm going to open it up and take some pictures and post those on some forum somewhere. Uh, see what people say. And then this one right here, Citizen Eco Drive, probably a really commonly faked watch. So same thing, I'll open this up, see what everyone says online, no clue. This watch I think is a fake camera or a hidden camera, I mean. I'm pretty sure that's a camera. And it says SIM card on back. I don't really know, it's it's really big, it's pretty big. Um, and then there's a Fitbit, no charger there. Uh, some old, so the vintage Timex watches I feel kind of good about. And then the Casios, there's one Casio here. Another Casio right here. Some Baby G watches, which is like, um, that's a Casio brand. Uh, some Timex watches. This is the, the Baby G watch. So what I'll do is I'll take the back off all of these. I like the ones that have screws. Uh, and then usually on the back of these watches, they're going to say what kind of battery it takes. So this one takes a 3120, it looks like. Uh, this one... Yeah, it's covered by a rope. This Timberland watch takes a CR1025. And so what I do is over here, I'll show you. This is where I keep all my watch batteries. And then this little device right here is how I actually close the watches. So you put the watch in there. Uh, you can swap out these, these plates depending on how, um, how large the watch is. And you press it and it closes it. So it's pretty simple. I think I bought this at Harbor Freight for like $10. Uh, 
Uh, I'll put some batteries in, make sure they work. Any uh, uh, any batteries that or any watches that don't work, those are going to get put into the auction lot, and then I'll just um, I'll go back there and I'll weigh it. I'll say how many watches there are. I'd probably guess there's five pounds of watches here. And hopefully I can get like 25 bucks for it, 15 to 25 bucks for it. I'm not sure. So I've been cleaning up these watches. You know, I've got a few a few hours left to work today. This is one of them. Look how nice that looks. I use, I'm using this. I forget what it's even for. To, uh, to, to I think it's a watch prior open bar. I don't know. So the number on this, Casio 515TS1200. So I just looked it up for fun. Like, okay, what's it worth? Maybe it's worth 15 bucks. <laughs> 200 bucks. First watch, 200 bucks. So uh, I guess I'll do the rest of these right now. These are all the Timexes and the Casios. Um, and I don't, I mean, I think this one's real. I don't think it's fake at all. Would you look at that? I think it's working, or at least it turns on. So I don't think I'll get 200 bucks for it, but I think I might be able to get probably $75 for it. And that already pays for the entire uh, 9.35 pound lot. You know, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. What do you think of this watch? Do you like this stuff? I do. It's pretty cool. See you later.